Hey guys, welcome back to another editing tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to create a mixed color and hue shifting effect that looks super clean in montages. This is an advanced tutorial, so if you haven't watched the basics yet, make sure to check that out first. To follow along, you'll need the BCC plugin. More details are in the description below. All right, let's get started. First, here's the clip we're going to edit. The first step is to find the frame where the kill feed pops up. Cut the clip at that point. Now let's add the slow motion. Right click on the clip and deselect link clips. This will prevent audio distortion. Next, right click again and select Retime Controls. Change the speed to 75%. Move forward 10 frames. Add a speed point and change the speed to 50%. Then move forward another 10 frames. Add a speed point and set the speed to 25%. Finally, move forward 10 more frames. Add one last speed point and set the speed to 10%. As you can see, the slow motion looks very choppy right now. To fix this, go to the inspector and set the retime process to optical flow. If it still feels too choppy, you can increase the final speed to 25%. And that's it, the slow motion effect is done. To create the second effect, we'll make another cut here. Then, right click on the second half of the clip, choose Change Clip Speed, and select Freeze Frame. Next, go to the toolbox and search for adjustment clip. Drag it into the timeline, align it with the cut, and shrink it to fit the length of the clip. Then go to the open FX tab and search for BCC mixed colors. Add it to the adjustment clip. Go to the inspector and open the effects tab. Set the scale to 1000. Change the apply mode to hue. You can adjust the mutation setting to shift the color hue. Personally, I like to leave it at the default. Now let's add the blur effect. Move the adjustment clip up to a new track. Hold down Alt and drag the clip to create a duplicate. Now switch to the color page. Select the duplicated clip, the one labeled with V2. Then go to the Windows tab. Choose the circle mask. Adjust the circle so that it covers your weapon. You don't have to be very precise. Set the softness to 10. Right-click in the node area, choose Add Alpha Output, and connect the blue dots together. Now, go back to the Edit page. Search for Gaussian Blur in the OpenFX tab, and apply it to the clip on track 1.
set the strength to around 0.3. Now the background blur is done. Next, we're going to add a glow effect. Search for glow in the Open FX tab and apply to the adjustment clip. Set the shine threshold to 0.3. Set the spread to 0.3. Increase the gain slightly to make it stand out more. It might look laggy right now, but don't worry. It will be smooth after rendering. Finally, let's add a flash effect. Add an adjustment clip to the top track. Right-click on it, choose Change Clip Duration, and set it to 30 frames. Apply a glow effect to the adjustment clip Set the shine threshold to 0 and the spread to 2. Then, add a fade out like this. And that's it. The flash effect is done. Now, let's move on to the second effect. Copy the two adjustment clips we created for the first effect. Select the lower adjustment clip. Extend it to the length you want the effect to last. Go to the beginning of the clip and add a keyframe for mutation. Then go to the end of the clip and set mutation to around three, depending on how long your clip is. Next, let's add the light rays effect. Search for light rays in the open FX tab Add it to the Adjustment Clip. Go to the Effects tab in the Inspector and expand the Light Rays settings. Set the length to 1. At the beginning of the clip, add a keyframe for position. Then go to the end of the clip and set the X position to 0. Now, the Light Rays will move over time. You can also set Soften to zero for a sharper look. By the way, if you don't want the scene to stay completely still, you can set the clip speed to 1%. Congratulations, you finished creating the effect. If you found this helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more editing tutorials. Also, make sure to comment down below and let me know what effect you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.